<sighs> All right, what up, everybody? It's your boy Trent, and we're back on another episode of T3 TV. Yes, if you've seen the title and the caption, then you know exactly what this episode is about. So, anyways, I'll be going over my 2014 Chevy SS, aka Malcolm X. And um, yeah, so I'll be going from front bumper to rear bumper and everything in between because quite a few people have been asking me, what miles do I got done? Why did I do this? Why did I do that? So anyways, I'll go into detail on what miles I got done. Um, if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, then you know exactly what's coming up next for this car. And I'll be doing another episode on that. But anyways, I wanted to make sure I get an episode with this car before I do everything else, slash go cheater boost it. So if you guys know what cheater boost it is, then you already know what the next episode is gonna consist of. But anyways, give me a thumbs up if you like this video or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Um, leave some constructive criticism in the comments below. Enjoy this intro, grab some popcorn, and let me know what you guys think of this video. Peace. Here you guys have it, a 2014 Chevy SS. And we're gonna start it up from front to back. Everything from exterior, interior, performance. So let's start with the exterior front. Uh, Blitz carbon fiber hood. Uh, shout out to Carol. He's the owner of Holding Parts USA. Um, he actually had to come to Vegas. So he brought it here and dropped it off right in front of my garage uh it was like 2100 bucks for people asking especially the chevy ss people because you either have the madman kyle hood but some people like or then you have the zl1 fifth gen uh carbon fiber hood which uh people like also uh, next don't know if you can really see it but uh everything's blacked out front the trim is carbon fiber so this carbon fiber uh the bow tie is a matte black with a gloss black trim headlights are tinted but the dude did a kind of not a good job not a bad job but it's just time for me as you can see it's starting to come up so yeah so anyways uh that's it for the front for the side we have a 20 inch m4 replicas uh Shout out to Mike with 702 Wheelhouse. He hooked me up with a good deal for tires. So uh, yeah, as you can see here, these are CTSV six piston uh, brake calibers and CTSV uh, the performance package with two piece rotors. Uh, so originally these stock come with four piston Brembo's, but um, I kind of like wanted more stopping power and it looks a lot better anyways so uh it's a direct bolt on pretty much i didn't have to change anything the brake caliber bolted directly on the calibers i meant the rotors bolted directly on and um be honest i like it it's a little bit heavier than the stock rotors but me is worth the stopping power so as you can see here carbon fiber trim all through it uh, carbon fiber handles, uh, sticker that's old, uh, probably got it two years ago, so it says Impala Blue. Um, on the back, same thing, uh, the fronts are 20 by 9.5, the rears are 20 by 10. As you work our way to the back, as you see here, got the tires. Anyways, 
Uh, for the rear, we have um, spider taillights. So all these are LEDs. The stock ones, as you guys seen before, this is completely red on the inside. This one gives you a little design. Uh, this is who builds my car, leading edge performance. And as you can see here, look at that shine. Oh my goodness. I just spent, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours waxing my car. So I think it came out perfect. Anyways, but yeah, so there we have it, leading edge performance. Uh, shout out to Garth and Keenan. They the ones that have did all the performance mods, kept me on the road. And um, I mean, this car is reliable. I've driven it to Houston, driven it to uh, Phoenix, driven it to Utah. So uh, that's it for the sticker. Uh, Impala Boo, there we go. Because if you don't know the backstory, uh, a lot of people think this is Impala. A lot of people think this is Malibu. Uh, it's neater. It's just an SS. Um, pretty much it's like Pontiac. It's the upgraded Pontiac G8 for those of you who have to know what it is. So here's the interior. Nice and spacious. I'll turn it on for you. So you can look at the nav system. So, eventually, uh, the Escort 360, super nice, there we go, uh, definitely a lifesaver, uh, here we have the MyLink that's coming on now, uh, anyways, this is a 2014, so it only came with the uh, automatic 6B, uh, 6080, uh, 2015 and up came with the manual option of a TR6060. So here you have it here. Uh, the nav display, it's not too bad. The, uh, these are parking assist. So this is uh, what a, your car actually parks itself. So if you hit this, it'll park itself. This lets you know if you want a perpendicular park or parallel park. And this is the traction control. So once is for traction, twice is for stability track, and if you hold it, it turns off everything. Uh, usually I drive with everything turned off. Um, it's just funner, especially if I need to get away. Or just like get sideways for a little bit, or um, if I gotta cut in and out of traffic, just stuff like that. Uh, SS, so this is Sway. Uh, what else? Sway steering wheel, not sway steering wheel. Uh, nice, nice little ra racing steering wheel, I guess you could say, with a flat bottom. The seats are pretty nice, which you can't see. There you go. So seats are really nice. The back seat is spacious. Uh, hmm. Let me see. Is there any way I can? Yeah, I can't really do much. So, anyways, that's the back for you. Uh, super nice, super comfy. Uh, you can sit three decent sized people in here. Like three of me can fit in the back with two of me in the front. Uh, super spacious, super comfortable. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for the interior. I'll go ahead and pop the trunk for you. Well, I guess I can pop the hood too. Let's stare at this carbon fiber. Ooh. Look at that carbon fiber. Nice, nice. That's what I like to hear. Or I like to see my dog just barking. All right. So anyways, here's the trunk space. Nice, nice decent trunk space. Um, we didn't fit a lot of stuff in here actually. You can fit a decent amount. The only sucky part is that the middle seat, you can't really see it, but the middle seat right there, oh, it's the only one that goes down. The other two don't go down. So that's the sucky part. And now to the performance part. Uh, so here we go. All right, so we'll start it off uh stock ls3 intake manifold 
Uh, it's connected to a rotor fab clear intake system. Uh, the stock throttle body is a 90 millimeter. I have uh, LS7 injectors with MSD uh, spark plugs and uh, Cooks exhaust, Cooks headers, and Cooks 1 and 7 8 inch headers that lead out to a 3 inch exhaust all the way back. Uh, there's no mufflers on this, so I'll post. I can't start it up now because it's 1 o'clock in the morning. And I don't want to piss my neighbors off. They already hate the cars. It is. So, uh, on that note, let's go here. So here's my plaque. You can get these custom made by Chris Finch. Um, give me your VIN number, and it tells you everything that's um, everything about this car. So it's a 2014 Chevy SS, as you guys know. Uh, VIN number is a six because it's imported from uh, Australia. Uh, the build plant was Elizabeth, South Australia. Uh, this was made January 28th, 2014. There's only 3,500 2014 SS's. So it comes with a true LS3, uh, the same motor that's in the Mango Camaro or that's in the Corvette. So that's why people call it a four door Corvette because the Corvette comes in an automatic LS3, true LS3, and so does this. Uh, six B, six O eighty automatic. There's only 30, there's only 43 of my car that is phantom black with a spare tire and no sunroof. Yes. So 2014s are a lot different from 2015 and 17s. They're also called the redheaded stepchild because they have not as much technology but more comforts. So my car has more cup holders as the CD player. Um, it doesn't have magnetic suspension, which um, if you plan on doing coilovers, you have to kind of like trick the system into thinking that it, it, it does have coilovers, so it doesn't mess up the uh, computer, etc., etc. Uh, this does not have a bi module exhaust like the 16 and 17s or the nice colors. I think 14s come in like red, hot, white, uh, black, and blue. Uh, 17s have the more rare colors. Uh, like alchemy purple, green, and a few others. Uh, 16s also. Uh, 15s are a little bit better. They have the exhaust and all that stuff. The 16s, um, 15s also have the rear Brembo's. 14s don't have the rear Brembo's or the magnetized suspension. 15 does. Uh, also, 14s come with fog lights, as you can see there. Uh, 15s and up do not come with fog lights so uh, that's pretty much it about this car uh, 15s are similar to 16s and 17s 14s are also the lightest because they don't have all that extra stuff so they're the fastest stock um, SS pretty much so that's a plus to it if you wanted to keep it stock you would you would be getting the fastest stock SS year so uh, Anyways, uh, besides that, there's a BTR Stage 3 NA cam. Um, it's on E85. That's it, actually. People always make it seem like I have so many mods. And I really just have cam, exhaust, a coder intake, and E85. And that's it. I also have flex fuel. So um, I can run 91, I can run 87, I can run 93. Uh, 81 etc etc um, and it does it just fine when I do my road trips I do run it on 91 or 93 I never put 87 in here just because but yeah so uh, that's it about this car um, if you got any questions let me know uh, what you guys think stay tuned because uh, the next episode I go over what's getting put into this car and it's uh there's a lot of stuff that's going into it uh you may see it on tv you may not see it on tv we'll see here but anyways that's it so peace let me know what you guys think of this video and stay tuned see you
<laughs> Alright guys, so that was my 2014 Chevy SS. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like I said before, I will be dropping more content. I'm sorry that I can't get any video of the car chopping it down because um, I actually don't have any videos on my computer, which is very strange. So uh, next video, I'll definitely make a post or two videos. I'll have the car running and you can hear the cam. So uh, besides that, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Uh, thumbs down if you didn't like it. Leave some constructive criticism in the comments. Let me know what you would like to see more of. Um, this year is going to be hot. The big wheel scene is going to be hot this year. So stay tuned because that's going to be that's going to be pretty legit. That's going to be dope. And uh, what else? I guess the reason why I bought the car, why I did the mods. Uh, the reason I did the mods was it's, it's a different feeling. And all the LS owners can say this. It's a different feeling when you start that car up and you hear it chopping and you're like damn this car sounds really good most Ford owners won't be able to experience that most Dodge owners won't be able to experience that it's, it's that LS that LS chop is just is where it's at and then I mean the car just looks good to me some people don't like it some people think it looks like a Malibu whatever but the car looks good. It's one sexy Malibu. I'll say that. So, uh, anyways, on that note, uh, see you guys soon. Peace.